Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Haphazard Hypotheticals. Ooh. I'm your host, Buck. With me, as usual, is my co-host, Ryan. What's up, guys? So, today, we have a hat full of... There's not a lot of hypotheticals in yeah, here, we, we need Yeah, we've got to re-up at some point. We need point. to throw some more in here. <laughs> but I've already gone through good ones. But at this point, it's been so long since what we've put in this hat has gone in here. I kind of forgot. I don't even know what's yeah. in here at this point anymore. I just... Uh, I forgot about Batman All the ones that week. I remembered were the ones that we've already done. Okay, so I have it. And I'm going to explain Hapaz Hypotheticals for yes. to you guys. If you haven't seen an episode before, definitely go watch more episodes because they're all good. It's a good one. But for usual, we pull a random hypothetical out of a hat and then complete it. Yeah. Let's see what it's we get simple. today, Ryan. We are going to make oh, shit. the next Fallout spinoff game. Ooh. Fallout New Blank. Uh, or it doesn't have to be new yeah, something. Be new, but, but we're making a new Vegas basically today. Okay. Because it uh, Fallout 76, I liked it for the most part, but at this point, like, I, I haven't touched it in months. Yeah. And I don't intend on touching it, really, anytime <laughs> soon, uh, unless something crazy happens or anything, yeah. or I get the, that Fallout itch. But still, if I get that Fallout itch, I have Fallout 4 to play. True. But... There needs to be a game that comes out that can get people back on the Fallout bandwagon. Yeah, that is five. And I don't think it should be five because when you bring, if you bring out five now, people will already have a muddy taste in their True. mouth. It, that might impact five. But if you do a smaller side game, maybe still built off the Fallout 4 engine... Yeah. Maybe with some with some updates like the Fallout seventy six engine, but not with the multiplayer elements yeah. or anything like that. Or maybe like a double co op, like two player co op, drop in, drop out. It's up to you. Yeah, you can be solo. Or you it. can have another wastelander around you. Yeah, and the game I, will I like, like the game will actually like change slightly, like dialogue wise, because there's two people. Yeah, like, it, can, it can do that. That'd be kind of cool, but nothing crazy. No crazy online thing because. Well, a lot of people are saying, and their big complaints about it, is that Fallout doesn't need that. And, like, I like it. It's a cool idea. But I've always said, like, really all I need is for one or two max other yeah. people that, like, my, my, I just want my buddy to be able to jump in. Or you to be able to jump yeah. in and play Fallout with me. Not us playing side by side, separate characters, separate worlds, everything slightly different. Yeah. But, like, you could jump into my world where... All of my decisions have impacted this world, and then vice versa. I could jump into your save game, yeah. and the world's completely different because of your decisions True. or whatever. And then we're making decisions together or whatever the fuck. Like that's that's a pretty yeah. cool fucking idea. I like that. I feel like it was. It, it's cool if it's not forced. Yeah, exactly. You have to so I think we should, like uh, this game should have something like that, like a okay. two-player co-op. I think if Fallout seventy six can barely. But it still does, but barely manages its, what is it, 20-something players? Yeah, 24. I think I think a Fallout world that is maybe be two-thirds the size of 76s can yeah. handle four players. Oh, definitely. Correct? Definitely. So, four-player co-op. Okay. Maybe not split-screen? No. Because split-screen no split is kind of crazy. We get it. But, like, how many people are going to couch co-op Fallout? Like, there's... It's not like yeah. Halo where there's a big campaign you're going to exactly. go through. Exactly. Although it might be fun to do. Maybe we, you could maybe do like a two-player. If there's two-player split screen, four-player online co-op. Yeah, but I still feel like that's like, eh. Because like, know. it might be fun. Your buddy's over for the day. Let's fucking go take out this raider camp. You True. hop in the split screen, take out a raider camp. Yeah, but I feel like that's, that's going to be like one of the most underused. Like the most not, like mainly... Like, it'd be cool because of the odd chance that, like, well, you want to do that. Well, tell you what. Since this is a hypothetical, let's say, hypothetically speaking, four-player online co-op works and the two-player split-screen works. We can't get four-player split-screen working. It's too okay. crazy because 60 FPS, crazy. But two-player split-screen works. Or maybe there's even, like, a... I just feel like that would take away from the beauty of the game. Maybe. Because, like, it's all scrunched. Yeah. Like, even with Halo, I'll... it was kind of, like, uh, weird. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, but it's still like I mean, when your friends are over and you want to fucking play Halo, and there's only one TV and yeah. one Xbox, you don't have fucking four TVs around you. It's cool to have that split screen option. You deal with the like wider screen. Yeah. Sometimes it's good because you get like a more of an FOV a bit. True, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's just let's do two player split screen, okay. and you can just it's the same thing. Drop in, drop out. If you drop in like a guest character, it just makes you a wastelander. You're level one. You have nothing. Okay. And your buddy can, like, give you shit. It'd be like Minecraft. 
Okay. But two play, two player split screen. That's it. You just drop in. You have nothing. Okay. Or maybe you can drop in with like a pipe pistol, pipe pistol with a clip in it. That's it. Okay. Something. And then the four player co op works the same way. Yeah. You guys, then you can form a group that is your, maybe it's your offshoot of the Brotherhood or your offshoot of the NCR, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Okay. Um, what from Fallout 4 are we keeping? What from Fallout 76 are we keeping? And what are we ditching from both those ideas? I don't really and maybe know. are we bringing anything back from Fallout 3? Like, is there any, like, are, are there any implementations that happen? Let's make this simpler. Anything that happened in Fallout 76, changing wise, that we feel like we're going back on. Yeah. I think food and hunger. Like yes. the, 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 the hunger and the drinking aspect, ditch it. That, don't I, need it. You that, don't need it. Fallout I, doesn't need to be sur- – I, I get it. It's surviving a wasteland, but nah. it doesn't need to be survival RPG. Yeah. Nah. Or or we could implement it in a – in like a survival mode. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, so th- that's what I was going to like um, say pretty much to where it's like you just have it to where it's a mode that you have to select to do it, to turn it I'm on. okay with all the implementations of 76 it would be cool if I wasn't only forced able to, do that. to play it that way yeah, because so. just because of how we're so used if fault was yeah. always that way might also not be we're going deal. back on the whole VATS situation because no VATS yeah no stops. VATS should stop time correct yes. yeah VATS should stop or at least in Fallout 4, I like how it very slows yes, I down think like time. Yeah, I think like Fallout 4's type thing. Yeah, that should be good. Should be. The stopping time, maybe not too much, because in Fallout 4, there's still moments where you are hindered when using VATs, and I like that option. When yeah. in Fallout 3, it's just... May, may, when I played through Fallout 3, especially now playing through... like I, 4 was my first game, and then I went back and played Fallout 3, and New Vegas and all these other games... That feels like super cheat mode where I just run in, enemy, pause, pause the fucking game, yeah. and then decide what I'm going to do in the most, like, fucking uh, RPG way where I'm just, like, pinpointing <laughs> every single, like, amount of damage that I want to do to this fucking thing. And yeah. then like, I implement it, like, and it perf- like, it, especially if your character's built for Vats and shit, you can perfectly implement shit every single time, and your yeah. Vats hits every single time. So it gets a bit gratuitous, I would say. Yeah. But the Fallout 4 method was really good. I like that... It's slowed down time. Enough. But still, if you're right up in an enemy and you vat, he's still going to come in with that hit or whatever. Yeah. Like he's already coming in for that hit. You're not going to stop time and then shoot him out of his hit animation. You're still yeah, going to take exactly. that hit of damage or whatever. I unless, like that. Unless you were quick enough in your Right? Advance. Unless you're like, boop, boop, and you shoot. Yeah, exactly. So I like that. I like that you actually have to do shit. So, so I, I think that is something that should come back. That's a good idea. Fallout so we'll, 4 Vats. Fallout 4 Vats. We're just going to keep Fallout 4's Vats. Yes. Um, I think we should... There needs to be... I felt like... Th- definitely something Fallout 3 did really well to an extent. Fallout New Vegas did very, very well. And then I felt Fallout 4 and then especially 76 is very lacking on are memorable characters. Because with, I'm not, not saying that there aren't memorable characters in 4, I'll talk about them, yeah. but in Fallout 3, you have like that big ass fucking tree herald, you have your your, your dad is a really important character, including yourself, the wanderer, yeah. the people at Megaton, like that fucking sheriff, I remember that fucking sheriff at Megaton, I just remember his fucking face, probably he's the first guy you fucking see, Yeah. but there's a lot of characters in Fallout 3, those kids at, uh, where the fuck that place was called, well, that right? and the Tunnel Snakes, yeah, the Tunnel Snakes, exactly, So it's like... and then in New Vegas, they did it to the mash, you get characters like Benny, and fucking, like, just these, a bunch of characters, you can't, I can't even fucking, Boone. there's so many, yeah, exactly, Boone, fuck, oh, poor Boone, I killed him in my playthrough, I feel so bad, fucking ass, but Boone, fucking, um, do you, even that old guy that you end up basically the only reason of him existing is for you to steal dynamite from him yeah even he feels like a character he feels like he's a person who's been in sunny what's the place called it's not sunnyvale but it's something like sunny, <laughs> sunny something vale Park. it's not sunnyvale but wherever the fuck that opening fucking city is yeah uh town uh he still feels like a character in fallout 4 you have some memorable like piper and hancock and uh fucking valentine but yeah but pat but past the characters that are built to have character none of the npcs really stand out that much yeah until you get into dlc like nuka world and far harbor there's no npcs in that world that stand out to me so i can't think of anything yeah the, I, the only person that really stands out to me from fallout 4 that isn't a main character npc is arturo which the is the, the, the weapon shop guy in um 
uh, Diamond City. Oh, in Diamond City. Yeah, he's the only okay. one that I really remember yeah. from all I rem- And then I, the robo dude I remember in the, the diner. I remember the doctor. There. That doctor guy. Just because he's weird and he had that weird kind of cyclist yeah. thing. Yeah. See, like, that's pretty much... Oh, and then I guess you could say uh, Kellogg. Yeah, and Kellogg. That's, like, that's pretty much... But Kellogg, so he's part of the main story. Yeah, he's story. part of the main he's story. Like, so yeah. it's like... But in Fallout 3, like I said, you have that big-ass tree, Harold. Or... Is his name Harold? I think his name's Harold. I don't remember. <laughs> the big-ass tree you decide to kill or not. You have... Um, all the fucking people at Megaton, like, you could, you don't have to deal with fucking Megaton. Yeah. Because you, the, the goal, once you leave the vault in Fallout 3, is to go find your dad. And let's say, you played through Fallout 3 before, you already know where your fucking dad is. You can head straight to where your dad is. You don't have to go to fucking Megaton. Yeah. And you don't have to deal with it at all. But there's still, like, characters that you fucking remember. There's the fucking, all those kids in Lamplight. I think the town's called Little Lamplight or something like that. And it's a fucking, like, little tiny cave town full of kids. And the kids are in charge. He's like, fuck you, fuck off. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. But, like, there's these characters in there. And, if, what, what, like, in Fallout 4, there's nothing. So yeah. this game definitely needs to have fucking character. Like, definitely. some characters. Where do you think this should take place? Because, I mean, <sighs> there's the we, we could, like, delve deep into the Fallout Bible to find, like, where did bombs really hit? Because they actually, yeah. like, explain all that shit. But Bethesda doesn't tend to go by the Fallout Bible. They tr- like I know that it seems like they try to because a lot of their shit does match up with the Fallout Bible lore. Yeah, but sometimes they go off a little bit. But yeah, exactly. So, like, did fucking nukes hit West Virginia? I don't know. But apparently they fucking did. Yeah. But so like it's like it's up to Bethesda at this point, and this would be a Bethesda canon. Almost like there's Star Wars, just legends, and there's that. There's the Interplay legends, and then there's the Disney canon. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in Disney canon right now. Okay. So where is a good place that a bomb can hit that can give us a nice area to like explore? Because that was the whole reason why they're like really doped on like hyped on West Virginia because it's a really fucking yeah. cool map, and they made a dope ass map out of it. Um. So where's something to be a good map, but also the lore of, like, that actual town can be implemented. Like, the fact that you're in Boston in Fallout 3, everything's super patriotic. Or Boston yeah. in, uh, in uh, Fallout 4, four. sorry. 4, yeah. everything's super patriotic and shit. And then in 3, you're basically, you're in Washington, D.C. Uh, where are you in 3? It's, what, it's D.C., right? Yeah, it's D.C. Yeah. Yeah, it's D.C. Yeah. So, if you're in fucking, like, you're super patriotic there as well. So, yeah. So let's, let's do somewhere not patriotic. And then, like, in New Vegas, you're in, like, Vegas. It's all casino-y kind of, like, yeah. vegas out. What would be cool? Texas, huh. I think Texas would be cool, kind of like a cowboy feel. But it's very cowboyish in New Vegas. So I don't yeah. know about doing cowboy. So, um, I'm and thinking... It's very farmy in 76, so maybe not a farm. But maybe. Um... Because, like, my two thoughts are New Jersey. Fallout New New Jersey? No, but it's not, like, it's, like, New York kind it's of just New Fallout Jersey. New Jersey. Like, yeah. that area okay. of, like, it's, like, Manhattan and all that. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Or, I still like New, uh, or not New Orleans, sorry. Uh, fucking Oregon would be a really just pretty place. That'd It'd be, be a pretty cool. place because of all the water around. That'd be kind of cool. And that'd be a good way to kind of condense the map. Well, I was thinking of... Is an uh, well, I was uh, basically at this point, what the fuck? Fallout Manhattan, like New Manhattan. I like that because the minute you said that, I immediately pictured like how cool it would be to walk around like a fucked up like metropolis city because that's yeah. what New York is. New York is just skyscrapers and non like that's fucking cool. But think about this though, okay? On this map, I'm picturing there's a fucking coastline, so you get, like a beach, you get a beach all the way up one side of the fucking map. You have a big kind of metropolis city towards kind of in the middle, so you have that wrecked metropolis city yeah. area, but then it's kind of foresty north towards the top, more deserty towards the bottom. Los Angeles, bro. True. Interplay and stuff like Fall One and Two take place in that area. It's California. Yeah. Basically, we'd be doing New California, but that the area of like L.A. and if you cut off. Like right towards the top of California, right as it starts getting into like the foresty kind of bits. Yeah. And then you're like, if you cut off California right at like Apple Valley, like <laughs> cut it off at Apple Valley and then cut it off at uh, San Francisco. San, like, not Diego. 
Diego uh, Diego, Tabanos, sorry, yeah. sorry. Cut it off at San Diego. Dumb, dumb. That part would be your map. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool because then if you go into like L.A., you have that like big, huge, destroyed city because like you haven't really had that in like because there aren't giant cities in D.C. or yeah, well, Boston. Well, I mean, they, like you sort of got it in Fallout Four when you were walking through the big populated yeah, area. Yeah, that. But it was kind of like. But still, it, it's not. It's not New York or yeah. like the Maze fucking tower. I always call it the Maze Tower because that's what it's called, the Maze Bank Tower in yeah. uh, GTA. GTA. But whatever the fuck that big ass fucking tower bank. I didn't think it's. I think it's National Bank. But yeah, I, I, think, I think it is too. But I don't think it's. Maze. Is it a city bank? It might be a city bank. But whatever the fuck the big middle tower is, it'd be cool to go in and half of it's fucking gone, and all those big buildings around it, and the like just to see a destroyed um, Chinese theater and shit. Yeah, be fucking going around Hollywood. Would be post apocalyptic Hollywood. Would be be dope. Fucking cool. Yeah, so I like that. Then you could have ghouls dressed like Elvis. (laughs) So what would be the name of this monster? I don't want to say New California because a it's a mod that yeah. looks really fucking good. I want I want I want to play it, but I don't know. And you also can't really call it like Fallout Los Angeles because yeah. like it's not Los Angeles. You would also get some of San Diego. So like I have two: either Fallout New Angeles, New which Angeles. sounds weird, or Fallout New LA, which sounds worse. I think. So I feel like New Angeles is something that they would call it. I don't know why. I feel like it's very Fallout. You know what we can do? Huh. At this point, remember how they were like, well, we're going to call this one Fault 76 because, A, Vault 76, but also it's kind of cool to imagine, like, it's the 76th Fallout and there could be all these other Fallouts. So what if you pick a Vault number and it's Fallout 55? Fallout 69? True. Fallout 69? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. But we can do that. There's a bunch of options. We could call that's, it... That's a trailer song. But also, New Vegas isn't... That's not the only bit of the map. Is yeah. the city of New Vegas. You get a lot of the outside surrounding shit, too. So we could call it, like... I kind of like New Angeles. I know, it sounds Fallout, right? It sounds weird at first, but it kind of it's kind of growing on me the more I say it. Fallout New Angeles. Or even Fallout L.A., Kind of sounds cool. Yeah. It's short, like Fallout 76 or Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout 5. But just Fallout LA. And you can, I, I can even see the like title where it's like Fallout and then like LA it comes out from behind it. Just a little LA. Because I don't like new LA and it doesn't have to be new. It doesn't have yeah. to be like new something. Because it's not like it, this is a new Vegas type game, but it yeah, doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be, have new, to be new something. New. I don't know why it just stopped me first. What if we just call it for now Fallout LA? Yeah. We'll stick with that. It's an amalgamation of both of our ideas. And we'll continue. So, there's Raiders. There's definitely NCR. I'm excited for the fucking NCR to come back. <laughs> oh, the NCR. I've missed them. I miss them so much. Brotherhood of Steel. Enclave. It's all fucking there. What's the story? Fuck, dude. You, I don't fucking know. How do you do a Fallout story other than, well, hey, this, I mean, like, you? The Fallout stories are pretty fucking simple. Well, because no, cause the Fallout story is make your own story. Well, it, it is make your own story, but there is still a story. Like, in yeah. Fallout 4, it's... You are... Like, the Fallout 4 is confusing. Fallout 3, it's... When you're a kid, your dad leaves the vault, causing you to go after him and figure out why he left the vault. See, but, That's it. But does there need to be a like a, like a story or does it just oh, like yeah. you are someone? No, there should be a story. You are a survivor in this wasteland with maybe something else. You know what I mean? No, there should be a story, but it should whoever. be not like Fallout 4 is where it tells you you are Nate or Nora. Like, it yeah. should be like you are a... A person who this happened to. I like that more than you are this person who has this background True. and this backstory. But then again, I always like that you're able just to kind of make your own headcanon about what your character well, did. Yeah, you but you can, I mean? but in the same way, like, you can do that with Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, but there's yeah. still that, like, that driving force for, like, especially New Vegas. New Vegas is just, like, you were just doing your fucking job I one day. You shot. And motherfucker shot you in the head. So that's why I'm like, so now you, and now, and like, it's up to you. Do you want to go get revenge? Go get them. That's the main story, but you can do whatever you want. That Something like that, where it's like, this happened to whoever you are. Yeah. And it's up to you whatever you're going to do about it. 
So something like that. Or I'm thinking maybe, like, what if the Enclave raided your vault and you are the sole survivor? Isn't that the name of a... Yeah, that already is. What's it called? What's Soul Survivor from? I think that's Fallout 4. That's Fallout 4. You're the Soul Survivor uh, in Fallout 4, uh, right? Yeah. You're the Lone Wanderer in Fallout 3. Soul Survivor. And then you're the Courier in You're the Courier New in Vegas. New Vegas. So. And then instead of you saying you're fucking Beast Hunt 69. <laughs> New, <laughs> New Master, Master 69. 69. <laughs> but, um. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, what the fuck are you doing? Go. That's all. Don't say anything. That's it. Just, just go. You got, shit to, you got shit to do. But um, okay. Let's let's do like a yeah, like you you want to call you the sole survivor, but we could do something like that where the uh. enclave raided your fucking base. You're the fucking last one there, or the Brotherhood of Steel. Like that could be the start of the game. The Brotherhood of Steel is like showed up and intercepted uh. right before you were the last one to be fucking executed over the fuck. So, like, they fucking shipped you out. And you can even have, like, a slow, kind of small introduction, like Fallout 3, where you have, like, memory flashes of your character going through and talking to people in the vault. And then yeah. you're sad to see them all get fucking slaughtered when you get fucking pulled out of the vault. Yeah. And then get rescued by the fucking Brotherhood of Steel. And then they basically say, like, you're free to go, or you can come take shelter with us. You can join the Brotherhood of Steel, whatever the fuck. And at that point, it's up to you. Yeah. You can follow them and, like, or they're basically like, we'll, we'll, we'll be here. You can come talk to us whenever you feel fucking... And then you get your little... Boof, it's yeah. now on the map. Yeah, you get a little, like, you can go over there, or you can go to the nearby city, talk to people. You've This is yeah. your first time out in the fucking wasteland. You've never been out in the wild Yeah, before. it's just make your own story, and that's why I like Fallout. It's because, like, you can ignore all the shit and make your own fucking story. And it doesn't matter what... You, like, a lot of times you get kind of... Compli- like, it, there's complications with, like, oh, but, like, every vault's a fucking experiment. So you can't do something... That, like, where the vault's not an experiment. Because I know there were control vaults, but they were very rare. Yeah. And vault 76 is a control vault, so you don't want to do, like, control vault after control vault. See, so, but this what, one... But what if it was this more... One was, what... No, dude, this one was, like, they were going to test for 300 years, or whatever the fuck. And then, after 300 years, they were just going to gas the population, and that was it. Like, that was done. Like, they were just going to yeah. see, like, the test, calculate the data, done. But... 215 years later the fucking enclave bust in so it never had an opportunity to enact its yeah its, it's actual plan. plan so it's not a control vault but it's also you it don't have to you plan. don't have to have the vault fucking kill all your residents or do whatever the fuck something. yeah it doesn't have to be some crazy fucking idea it could just be like, like a psychological it's experiment. eight people and two leopards like nothing stupid like that because yeah. those existed but huh. i'm like because that, that's a lot of times when i'm thinking of like hmm what would this vault be like I'm like probably a fucking nightmare because they're all fucking nightmares yeah but that, like that kind of ruins the like idea because like in star wars you're like what's this planet like some are nightmares, but there's like, what's Naboo like? like Naboo is probably fucking dope. Yeah. But in Fallout, you're like, what is this? Like, there's like four vaults that are control vaults, and every other vault's fucking horrible. Yeah, uh, you're like, god damn. Like the one oh, dude, and, like, there's like one dude and sixty nine girls, and then like sixty nine dudes and one girl, in a and like two separate vaults, and there's like one dude and a leopard, like or one dude and a panther, something stupid like, like so what the it's, fuck? There's stupid fucking vaults. And I'm like, what even is that fucking experiment? And then there's ones where, like, all the light bulbs slightly flicker. Like, that's it. Like, but that also, like, like kind of, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, what like, would that do to people if they had to live 200 years in a place where 24-7, all the lights are, just, like, slightly flickering? Like, would that drop, they like, might maybe feel insane. insane. That would knows? drive me insane. It would, too. Same. So you don't have to do something crazy so like imagine that. Imagine these. Just... But that could be your vault. And, like, you can even then go and, like... Like, you can explore your vault and learn its true purpose and shit. Yeah. Like, Fuck. In 20 years, I was about to die. Because they're just going to gas them or, all like, drones are going to come out and, like, fucking kill everybody. Like, who the yeah. fuck knows? Like, fucking vault takes crazy. But then at that point, you can then take yourself wherever the fuck you want to go. Like, maybe your character starts somewhere in, like, the, like, the Long Beach area. Like, that's yeah. where your, your vault is. So you can either... Make your way down to San Diego, where the like that—that's where the Brotherhood kind of is. Or you can make your way up to the fucking big city in LA. There's all the forest area. There's all kinds of shit that you can do. Like, yeah, be kind of cool. It'd also be kind of sad to see all the foresty areas kind of fucked. 
by a but by a like, bomb. That would get that would get you. That would get you into the Fallout movie. Right? Could you imagine seeing like? Because you know that 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 drive up. It's just nothing but fucking hills and trees. Yeah. Imagine if it was nothing but hills and sticks coming out of the ground. Yeah. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Like sad, but like cool to cool see. Cool to see and like see. realize in a video game. All the fucked up wildlife, squirrels and shit. I like where we're going with this. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So that's our story, pretty much. Like, it's not. It's well, what's big. something Fallout you feel doesn't have that it needs? Nothing really. You can't think um, of anything. I guess maybe just more weapons, more weapon customization, better weapon customization. Yeah. You're able to make your own whatever the fuck you want. That that'd be pretty fucking cool. I I would like just more, more options it. in the um. Settlement building, because yeah. we're definitely gonna keep the settlement building. Oh, you know me and my settlement yeah. building. I love it, but I want more options. I want to be able to like make a place that looks nice and brand new. And it might be hard to do it because it's a fucking post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. But I don't like how even if you're max level in Fallout Four with every fucking necessity known to man under your fucking un- under your belt. You can't make a house that looks like a fucking house. It has to look like a fucking wooden piece of shit sh- shack. Yeah. And it's like, at this point, let me throw up some fucking concrete walls. Like, we can yeah. figure this out. Or maybe you have to have, like, settlers that you have to train in, like, making concrete. Or maybe you have to go, like... Like, in Fallout 76, where it's, like, going to find plans and shit. Yeah. That's cool, but I don't like the randomness to it, where they might be there, they might not be there... Well, they're they not, fixed that. They're not god. always 100% there. Yeah, which, thank god they fixed that. Thank god they fixed Fucking that. Fucking Christ. But, to where it's all just there now at every... Yeah, and, like, Fuck. that's really cool. But, at the same time, it'd be cool to where, if you went to a concrete factory, there would be concrete, like, like uh. how to make concrete. So then you could take that back to your fucking base, and you can train fucking people on how to fucking make concrete. So then you can then make concrete walls that yeah. are nice. And then you can get paint. And you can fucking paint yeah. your walls. You should be able to paint your fucking walls. You should be able to fucking replace broken window and glass and shit. Because you are able to paint the walls technically in Diamond City. So it's like, what the fuck? Why exactly. can't I do it then? Exactly. Why can't I paint my fucking, even my shitty shack walls? I should be able to paint them. Yeah. And then to the point where you should be able to, like, polish metal. You should be able to, like, try to rebuild. Like, that's the kind of the whole point, right? Yeah. Is, I get that the whole vibe of Fallout is sad and gloom and droom and just like everything's going to shit but like what's the fun of just like yep everything's going to shit let's just continue with shit but like no the whole point is like let's rebuild fucking society which is why i really liked the marketing of fallout 76 because that's kind of what it was like it was like that's what everyone's here for that's why it's multiplayer everyone's coming together to rebuild society after the fucking bomb yeah and that's what I want to fucking do. I want to make a little tiny city. You should be able to make your own little diamond city. Yeah. Where you could get a fucking doctor and a fucking... Which would be cool. A little school going and yeah. shit. Like, that'd be fucking cool. So, okay. So, then that should be added, definitely. Because I like that idea. Definitely Just add that. More. And I, I I like your, like, craft. There should be way... There should right. definitely be... You should be, be able a, to paint certain parts of yeah, your guns right. and shit like that. You should be able to paint certain parts of your weapons. You should be able to, like, temper your steel. Yeah. If you temper your steel, it could do like point twenty, like two point five percent more damage, or like ten percent more Just damage, something or something like. Give me something more. Something more, because it's cool that you can put take, a red dog, take sword. a sword, and then make electric. Yeah, or make it serrated. Yeah, or serrated, but and then that's electric. it. Then and you're what? Just like cool. And I like kind of they 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 did more with the DLCs. Like I know that you like at one point now, if you log into Fallout Four and you're gonna make a baseball bat. There's a lot of fucking baseball bat options. Yeah. But there should be a lot of machete options and there's like all those like things. And then like with guns, you should be able to paint your guns. You should be able yeah, to Yeah, you should like, be able to put certain attachments like you should be able to buff the fuck out of your gun and make it look cool. Mm-hmm. Do whatever the fuck you want. And nah. like maybe you have to actually like legit like if you want to paint your gun green, you need green paint. Yeah. So you have to go to a fuck you have to go make green paint. So yeah, we'll or you gotta see. go find green or paint. Or find green shit. paint. Like the, or, like the Hoover's comic or whatever in, ex- our, in ex- our part. Exactly. Or, like, let's say you find blue paint, and then you like, all right, I know I can make fucking yellow paint from, like, flowers and fucking glue. Or, I don't know how the fuck you make paint. Yeah. Well, let's say it's flowers, like, yellow flowers and glue. Let's just say. <laughs> so you put all this together, you have your yellow paint, combine your blue and yellow paint, there's your green paint, paint your gun. <laughs> but it gives you, like, a fucking mission. To yeah. Where even the simplest thing of, like, I want to do this. You can do it. 
but they're here. Like, go. Like, they're, you have the option and the opportunity to go fucking do so it. So then it makes you want to go do it. Exactly. It's, and it, it's nothing crazy. Like, you don't have to go to this base, fight 20 monsters, go down to the bottom, fight 20 monsters, get the item, then run back. And fast travel back, do it, then you're done. It's yeah. like, it's a little adventure you're taking yourself on. Like, okay, I have to do this. You have your own little, like quest law where you're like all right i have to do this then i need this then i need this let's yeah. go let's go spend the day doing this like See, and i like that it's cool i want to spend the day out decking out my guns painting them mm-hmm. like, or like, like you're can. like all right i'm gonna spend all day today just raiding the city yeah. that big ass building in the middle you can actually go inside of it up to where it, up to a certain point cause it's yeah. fucked. but like that'd be cool to like go through and raid shit and it's a big city so like there's a lot to raid there or like i said you got friends, and your friend drops in, he can then fucking help you build your base. Yeah. That'd be fucking cool. I think um, also full mod support. Yeah, full mod full support. Full mod support, and if someone drops into your game, it's basically like in Gmod. When you join a game, you have to install the assets. Yeah. And, and, for a second. So if yeah. you join somebody that has mods installed, you're going to play in his game with the mods that he has installed, but you're just going to have to install them. Before you go, like, you'll join the game, and they'll be like, installing this, installing, 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 and then you'll join in. Mm-hmm. And then when you leave, they're gone. But you have to And do I that. also, I like the option, uh, I, I like the camp system. Yeah. But I'm going to, like, not call it the camp, and it's not going to be like a little camp thing. But just the op- the option to where, let's say, I've played the game level 50, you played the game, you're level 50. We're on two separate fucking playthroughs. I can go into your game. And then plop my camp down in your game. Yeah. And it has all my camp options and shit. We can go through, use that and shit. Maybe it doesn't, like, it won't carry the fucking, like, chests with all the items. So I can't, like, dupe items in my game, bring them over to your game. Just to prevent cheaters and shit like that. Yeah. But just drop my base down. So I can put my base next to your fucking base. And yeah. we can fucking, like, have our little, have little wars if you want with our fucking automatrons or the fucking camp up and protect from fucking unco- oncoming fucking... Super Ghouls mutants coming shit. through. Yeah. Whatever the fuck's coming through. Like, it'd be fucking fun. It'd be fucking fun. Yeah. Fallout LA. That's, that, it sounds better the more I say it, man. It sounds yeah. better the more I say it. Any final thoughts on Fallout I mean, LA, we, man? We, we pretty much got the main basis of a Fallout game because there's not really much you can add on to the Fallout formula. Yeah, the Fallout formula, is for great. the most part, works. just works. It just works. For the most part, it just works. Maybe not so much now, but for the most part. But it just works. It just works. It just works. <laughs> Uh, if you're out there and you are decent at making video games and you're like, fuck, man, I want to make a Fallout game, but I don't know what to do. Here you go. I yeah. gave this to you. Do it. Do it. Just let it. In fact, the only requirement for using our idea, you can use our idea 100%. You just need to let us know so we can play it. Yeah. That's it. Early. Early. Be, uh, like a week a week early at least because we'll, we'll make a video about it. It'd be cool. Yeah. Because we're too shitty to do it ourselves. I can't fucking make a game. I can't even... I can only come up with ideas, man. That's it. I'm the idea guy, and that's it. People need to hire me to be the idea man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just come in and be like, listen, man. Listen, okay? Like Charlie Day. And, yeah. Uh, and it's, it's always... I'm right here, I'm like, yeah, okay, listen. This is the right fucking plan. This is what everyone fucking wants. And they're like, I didn't even think of that. You're right. You're right. That's just how it goes. That's me. That's uh, that's that, that's I'm, I'm the idea guy. So if you're out there and you need an idea guy, uh, hit me up. Hit Buck up. Right yeah. Here. Uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe. I'll know, and then I'll come get you. See you then. Bye. Yeah.